It might look like a tranquil river, but lurking beneath the surface lies some of the animal kingdom's most intriguing creatures. Hi, I'm Priya from Melbourne Water, and today I'm going to introduce you to some of the really cool creatures that live in our waterways. Water bugs, or macroinvertebrates, are insects, crustaceans, mollusks, and other small animals such as worms and spiders that live in the water. Many of these are juveniles or baby forms of the animals. Insects like dragonflies, caddisflies and fly larvae begin their life in the water before undergoing metamorphosis, growing wings and leaving the water to live on land. Water bugs are great biological indicators. This means that they can tell us about aquatic health. And that's why it's part of my job to monitor water bugs around Melbourne's waterways. Different water bugs have different tolerance to pollution, indicating the health of the ecosystem. For instance, creatures like the stonefly nymph are very sensitive to pollution and are only likely to be found in streams with a healthy ecosystem. Whereas macroinvertebrates that are tolerant to pollution, like fly larvae and crabs, can be found in streams that are degraded. Collecting water bugs is really simple. All you need is a net. Then we kick and sweep through the water to collect our bugs. Then we just tip our bugs into the bucket and go and see what we've got. So once we've collected a good sample, we can start to sort through it to see what we've got. We've got heaps of different bugs here today. We've got caddisflies, beetle larvae, damselflies, snails, crabs, and so many more. Many water bugs have very interesting features. Some are interesting because of the way that they breathe. For instance, these little guys are called water boatmen and they breathe by collecting a bubble of air which they hold on their chest and use like a scuba tank. Or these stoneflies which have fluffy gills at the end of their body that they wag to get more oxygen. Or dragonflies which suck water into their bottom and breathe the oxygen through internal gills. Then they squirt the water out and use it like a jetpack to travel through the water. Other water bugs are interesting because of the way that they hunt. For instance, these caddisflies spin a small net between two rocks and wait for their prey to be trapped in it. And damselflies have adapted bottom jaws that they use to grab their prey. It's almost like an extra arm under their chin. So once I've sorted my bugs into a small tray here, I look through my book to find what I've got. Take this crab for example. I'll identify it as a crab and then I'll mark it down on my data sheet. Once we've identified all of the different species present in the sample, we can then put it into a database to help us to assess the health of the waterway. So while not knowing what's lurking beneath might give some people the heebie-jeebies, for others like me, they play a really important role in determining the health of our waterways.